This is the Chloe Cast, Episode 9, A New Year and New Show Schedule. Hey there, everybody. I am Mike DeZorch. I am through a Zorch channel. Wish you guys all a happy new year. I hope you had a fun, safe New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. And today I'm going to be talking about a lot of changes coming to Zort Central, a lot of new content coming because this channel needs needs the content, needs a lot of new shows, and also uh, and some of the stuff that I'm doing for Gamers Day. There should be some slight changes there. Also, the, um, the live stream alliance thing where Zorch Central and Gamers Bay both stream to my Twitch account at the same time, that's been set up. So now that's going. It's my first uh, stream for Gamers Bay doing that. Whenever I, whenever I do stream, I will put the link to my um, Twitch account in the video description. That way you can... Go to Twitch if you want to watch from there. But in the chat, use restream.io so I will be able to see, respond to chat messages. So I will be going back and doing more Elite Dangerous live streams on Zort Central. Here, and I'll be able to respond to any kind of questions or any, any questions that you put out there in the live stream then. I have to I have to replace a joystick for that, so it will be a little while before I'm able to go back and start live streaming dangerous again. I'm still out in deep space and I need to get back to the bubble. First, let's get to the, some of the new shows that are on the channel. There's a few that are on the channel already. So let's uh, get into those. Now I've already been doing Random Thoughts. This is a show that has no specific set schedule. It's for whenever I have anything important to say in game, gaming mechanics, gaming industry, anything. If I, if I have anything to say about the loot box or, or anything else, this will be the show where I will where I will basically speak my mind. It's a short format show. Uh, in the video, in the background, we'll have gameplay that is relevant to what I'm talking about. So this is something I've been, I, I started in November and I released a new show in November. This is basically a spur of the moment show that I will release whenever appropriate. So it's not on a fixed schedule. The other new show that I started working on is an old otaku. Uh, this is a anime-centric show. I started this one in November also. Uh, the December episode is up, and that was an important one for me because of the situation I was going through. At the time, uh, I, I talk about it at length in that episode, so go check that episode out if you didn't see that. That where I that's a very important subject for me because of what I went through in my life at that time. It's very important. And an old otaku will continue as a regular series. I will at least once a month, uh, like most of the other shows on here. So there will be a lot of content here on Source Central, and so that I'm not overwhelming myself with a lot of work because also doing stuff for Gamers Bay. Uh, a lot of these shows are, are once a month thing or spur of the moment sort. Now I also have Fanfiction Multiverse that is another um, sort of anime centric sort of thing. That's a once a month podcast that I released and I just I just recently released the January podcast. So this is so I can stay in touch with my readers on fanfiction content. So those who are following the stories that I that I publish, that small handful of stories that I'm still releasing updates for, this allows me to stay in touch with them. They get in touch with me through leaving reviews for chapters. The latest one I just released had some fairly positive feedback, and so. 
I, I, I alternate between different series, writing stories. I, I like writing stories. It really helps me out emotionally when I do. I haven't been writing as much as I like to, and I think that's why I've been not releasing as much content because my depression is coming back a little. I need to change that. I need to I'm not promising that everything is going to go exactly, you know, as I, as I say, but I'm going to work on improving, growing this channel, making more content available to you guys. Sticking around and watching my shows. Another new show that's coming that I'll uh, also be doing on a regular basis is What's on Steam. What's on Steam will cover uh, interesting sales. Um, I will also be highlighting various games on uh, on the Steam platform. So that will be an, an interesting new show that I um, that I've been working on. I will release a pilot for that to get an idea of how the show will go. It will be sort of like a random thoughts style show where it will just be spur of the moment because Steam sales don't happen on a regular basis unless they are the big ones like the annual sales, like the winter sale which is already concluded, summer sale, any kind of special holiday sales that they might have, but from occasionally from time to time they'll have like a big sale on a specific game something that's interesting, something I think you guys should check out. Uh, anything brand new that's coming to Steam or any new feature that's being rolled out for Steam. Occasionally over the years, um, they have been rolling out new features. The ability to, to play audio. Media playback stuff that they really do need to be working on. Now, also, show that will be making a comeback is Chlorine the Professor. Uh, this will be, again, a once a month show, um, likely near the end of the month. This episode, I'm going to be taking the series back to where it should have been. I, I've talked about the gaming industry as much as I think I can talk about it. There has been this recently. There's been a what we call what I like to call a gamers spring that has occurred. Gamers have woken up. This whole thing with Battlefront 2 has made gamers realize we hate what EA is doing. We don't want them to do this crap anymore. So we're gonna fight back. And now they're finally, finally fighting back. They're finally seeing that they have a voice. They're finally seeing that, hey, we can, you know, we can make them change. Now, EA's made some token changes. Some token changes. They are going to bring back the microtransactions at some point. So, we need to keep the dialogue going. Because it, it looks like they're not interested in policing themselves. The ESRB is in a prime position to police these kinds of activities in the gaming industry. And they're not doing it. They're digging in their heels. They are defending the position of the, the, the big corporate uh, company. I will not call them AAA anymore because they are not. They don't deserve to be called AAA. AAA is reserved for those game studios that produce great games, that don't produce broken games. Games that are deliberately unfinished so that they can sell DLC. You know what game companies those are. I mean, The, the Witcher 3 is one of those games. And Divinity Original Sin 2 is one of those games. Games that are not broken upon a release in order to justify selling you more stuff. Or games that are broken upon release, a $60 game, and then has 
microtransactions and boot boxes slapped onto it and the game's progression is massively keyed into buying this stuff when battlefront 2 was launched was battlefront 2 um, microtransactions and um, loot boxes were suspended they had to patch the game because the loot boxes were so integral to the progression that they broke it when they removed them well that's how bad things have gotten and whatever legislation these states and countries bring forward to control and, and regulate this practice is completely on their heads it's their fault that this happened not the fault of the gamers they're going to try and blame the gamers for this no it's their fault it's their greed they brought this on themselves so whatever legislation comes out of it i hope that whatever legislation does emerge does not hurt the legitimate companies that are using microtransactions to support free to play but there are for every game out there that is pay to win that is a pay to win piece of crap game there are good games that are using microtransactions in order to support their activity to fund their games and keep them going so there's more of those games than there are the games that are total crap so Chloe the professor is going to focus more on less on the negative side more on the positive side uh, the good things in the gaming industry. I, I I have said all I needed to say, I think, in theories up until now. And now it's time to focus on the more positive side. It's time to teach gamers that they can be a positive force for good and change in the industry and in the world. And it's this show is going to be a part of that. Now on the Gamers Bay side, I'm still doing the No Gamer Plays, which is a retro specific show. Right now I've got a Atari 2600 series, Tigra, who is my co-host on uh, various uh, videos here on this channel and on Gamers Bay, uh, will be with me. We'll be doing uh, Double Dribble in that episode or any games that are specifically two-player and play best as a two-player game, that's what uh, TigerCon will be joining me. Um, so I am retooling an old gamer play specifically, specifically 100% for retro games. So no modern games in that show. For modern games, I am, I am rolling out an old gamer plays next. And that's where I'll be covering more modern titles. Now, biggest traffic, the biggest draw Gamers Bay gets is retro games. Not so much modern titles, but we should be covering the modern titles too at some point. So there will be more episodes of the retro series than there will be on modern games. And the modern games that we'll be covering will not be what being oversaturated. You will not see PUBG on here or Fortnite. You might see um, stuff like um, Divinity Original Sin 2. Um, you might see Horizon Zero Dawn, which I'm planning on covering at some point. There will be no Nintendo game. Or should I say no first party Nintendo game. You will not see Breath of the Wild. I would love to do Breath of the Wild for the series, but Nintendo is not playing nice with YouTubers. They are not honoring fair use. So Gamers Bay and Zort Central will not do um, Let's Play videos of anything that belongs to Nintendo. Anything that belongs to them. So we, we'll talk about them, but we won't we won't be showing their games until that policy changes until they decide that no 
when we produce videos for their games, it's free advertising. So they realize that and stop hurting their community. Then we'll cover their game. So then, consider Nintendo boycotted on the channel. Except we'll talk about them, won't show their game. And there are, obviously there are some games that we won't be covering because the studios are not friendly to, not friendly to Let's Play. There are, uh, um, Warner Brothers is one of those. Uh, I, I would like to do a playthrough of last Metal Gear Solid game because it was Hideo Kojima's, uh, it was, you know, Hideo Kojima's last hurrah with Metal Gear. And I'd like to do it in, the, in support of him. Not in support of Capcom, but in support of him because he's got a new game that's coming out. Um, not relatively soon, but we've seen some interesting stuff from that with um, Death Stranding. So I thought, look back at what he worked on and the, you know, what influences from Metal Gear Solid V made their way into Death Stranding. So that would be an inter interesting for. And some other stuff, a few things that are not so well known because as I said we're not going to be covering anything that is being oversaturated on other channels no Call of Duty no Battlefield maybe might go through the single player for Battlefield 3 and 4 I have those I did not buy them I got them free from purchasing hardware, they were not given to me by a, as a sponsorship. And so, at some point I may cover those, but not anytime soon. There are a few games that I am looking at that I think would be interesting to cover now and are somewhat relevant based on what's going on in the gaming industry, what games are coming up. So look forward to that episode. Uh, look forward to those episodes of An Old Gamer Plays Next. Uh, it's been a been a full show. A lot of details. If you have questions, uh, let me know. You can contact me via Twitter, Google Plus, or Facebook. Uh, I'm also going to be in February, I'm going to be working on the North Central website on Google Sites. Uh, the site that's on there right now is centered on my fanfiction, and I have not updated that in a long, long time. So I'm going to be going back and retooling that as a page for Zorch Central specifically. And there are some tools there that may allow me to build some kind of small community there. I'll see what I can... A make of it. I have not used Google's tools there in a long time. I don't know if they've changed anything or, or if they've even updated any of the stuff on that, that site. So we will see what happens there. Uh, again, lots of changes coming to Zort Central. A few minor changes coming to videos for Gamers Bay, but the most, the biggest changes are here on so look forward to a lot of these new shows and some changes to a lot of existing shows like Floyd the Professor. Expect some more positive stuff. I, I I have beaten the dead horse of we need to get the gaming industry changed. And finally, finally the gaming community has woken up. They're pissed off. They're no longer going to take it anymore. So that's happened. Flowing the Professor will be more positive to try and keep that dialogue going. So expect a new episode of that at the end of the month. Well, I, Mike, thanks for watching Chloe Cast. There'll be a, uh, a new one coming in February. Um, detail a lot more information 
for the new shows for this month. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.